Hi guys, this is Alicia and Jenny, and, and we're, we're the Silly Sisters. Sisters. We're silly. So welcome back to Undertale. Uh, we just got into Snowden Town. Alicia lost, and I a lot. No, I didn't. I didn't do <laughs> it. I didn't die. I didn't die. Let's see if there's anything new oh, in the box. Use the box. Yes. Yeah. Oh, nothing new. Darn it. Uh, let's go to the shop. Okay. Goodbye. Hello, traveler. Can, how can I help you? Uh, bye. Buddy! Let's see. We can get a manly bandana. The defense this is... This armor. Let's get some more. Armor. Let's do it. Yes. Thanks for your purchase. Okay, we got a hundred. Twice. Eat it twice. Ooh, let's get one of those. Get about a cinnamon bun. It's Ooh. my own recipe. Get the cinnamon bun. Hello, travel. Sell anything. Let's talk. Say hello. Hey, uh, welcome to Snowden. I can't remember the last time I saw a fresh face around here. Where did you come from? The capital? You don't look like a tourist. Are you here by yourself? My goat mom kicked me out of the house. <laughs> <laughs> what to do here? You want to know what to do in Snowden? Grillby's has food. And the library has information. If you're tired, you can take a nap at the, the inn. It's right next door. My sister runs it. And if you're bored, you can sit outside and watch those wacky skeletons do their thing. Bleh. There's two of them. Brothers, I think. They just showed up one day and asserted themselves. <laughs> the town has gotten a lot more interesting since then. History. Think back to your childhood history class. A long time ago, monsters lived in the ruins back there in the forest. Long story short, we all decided to leave the ruins and head for the end of the caverns. Along the way, some fuzzy folk decided that they liked the cold and set up camp in Snowden. Oh, we don't think of trying to explore the ruins. The door's been locked for ages, so unless you're a ghost or can burrow under the door, forget about it. Your life. Life is the same as usual. A little claustrophobic. Ugh, Jenny wouldn't survive down there. No. But we all know deep down that freedom is coming, don't we? As long as we got that hope, we can grit our teeth and face the same struggles day after day. That's life, ain't it? Alright. Hey now, come again sometime. So they stopped in the ruins, called it home, and then decided, eh, we're gonna try something else. Okay. You might want to put some stuff away. Yeah. First, let's equip the manly bandana. You put the manly bandana. You have to put the ribbon in the box. Yeah, I'll put the ribbon in. Put an ice cream in there. Okay. okay. That should be good. Mm. We go to the inn? Let's see. Yeah. Aw, look at the cute little bunny. Mom said that sleeping can recover your health above your maximum HP. What's maximum HP? The Snowden Inn, Snowden's premier hotel. One night is 82. Here's your own key. Make sure you bundle up. We need as much health as we can get. There's your little bunny. Hey. Hey. Are they bunny or are they like ghosts? Well, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> They're <laughs> snoring. <laughs> that sounds like our brother in his... He snores really bad. Yeah. See if you can look at the book. Mm -hmm. no. Press N. Yeah, oh, there we go. Hiya! It looks like you had a great sleep. I wonder if I can go upstairs again. Which is incredible because you were only up there for about two minutes. <laughs> Here's your money back. You can pay me if you're going to stay overnight. Oh, nice. Oh, I can't go upstairs. No, no free sleeping. Gotta pay. 
Don't want to walk into the other side of town? Try these under snow tunnels. They're efficiently laid out. That little lady over there. Something about her disturbs me. Uh oh. She's a bunny walking a bunny. Isn't my little cinnamon just the cutest? Bun buns are so adorable. Tee hee! Bun 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 teams torment a local monster by decorating his tree like horns. So we started giving that monster presents to make it feel better. Now it's a tradition to put presents underneath a decorated tree. Don't you get Santa? Oh, no Santa down here. Yo, you're a kid too, right? I can tell because you're wearing a striped shirt. I wonder if that weird skeleton is an adult or a kid. Seems like a kid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this town doesn't seem to have a mirror. But if there's ever a problem, the skeleton will tell a fish lady about it. <laughs> That's politics. <laughs> Look at all the people here. No matter where I go, it's the same menu, the same people. Help! I want new drinks and uh, hot guys! Hmm. Isn't human food different from monster food? It does things like spoil. And when you eat it, it passes all the way through your whole body. <laughs> Disgusting. I love to try it sometime. We're sentries, but we never get any respect. I wish those skeletons would throw us a bone. Bones. We love bones. <laughs> you better watch where you sit in here, kid, because that big guy will jump into your lap and give you lots of love and attention. I'm thinking of getting a spiked color to show off my personality. It makes a statement like, attach a leash to me and take me for a walk, please. <laughs> I'll be like fox. He's a big bark. big bark. It's playing poker against itself. It appears to be losing. Uh -oh. <laughs> I, I put out a line for some girls today. Someone told me that there are plenty of fish in the sea. <laughs> well... I'm taking that seriously. I'm literally going to make out with a fish. Uh, whatever floats your boat, dude. Those dogs are part of a royal guard, an elite military undergroup led by Undyne. She's rude, loud, and beats up everyone who gets in her way. It's no wonder all the kids want to be like her when they grow up. <laughs> Grilby said that he'd offer you a glass of water, but he doesn't touch the stuff. <laughs> <laughs> the capital's getting pretty crowded, so I hear they're starting to they're going to start moving here. Hmm. I don't want to see the as reassure of our local culture. But I definitely want to see some city slickers slip on their butts. <laughs> the jukebox is broken. Aww. Aww. Can't change. It's a cool music anyway. <laughs> Everybody's laughing and cracking jokes, trying to forget our modern crises. Dreariness, crowding, lack of sunlight. I would join them, but I'm not very funny. We all know the underground has problems, but we smile anyway. Why? We can't do anything, so why be morse about it? They have a good attitude. It's a library. Libraries are your friends. Welcome to the library. Yes, we know. The sign is misspelled. Nah. That look in your eye. You're someone that has difficulty solving Junior Jumble, aren't you? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe one. I love working on the newspaper. There's so little to report that we just fill it with comics and games. <coughs> when I was younger, my teachers gave me word searches, 
when they ran out of assignments. I thought they were a waste of time. But look at me now. I'm the number one word search creator in the entire underground. I like that big long word she did a couple episodes ago. <laughs> we had to solve that word jumble. Yeah. That was funny. It's a school report about monster funerals. Aww. Monster funerals, technically speaking, are cool as heck. When monsters get old and kick the bucket, they turn into dust. <laughs> At funerals, we take that dust and spread it on the person's favorite thing. Then their essence will live on the live on in that thing uh am i at the page minimum yet i kind of sick of writing this while monsters are mostly made of magic human beings are mostly made of water <laughs> dang it humans with their physical forms are far stronger than us i Oops. wish i was mostly made of magic yeah water but, sucks yeah but they will never know the joy of expressing themselves through magic I can't. I haven't gotten my Hogwarts letter yet. <laughs> Dang it! They'll never get a bullet pattern birthday card. <laughs> Here I am writing this book. A person comes in and picks up the book. They start reading it. Oh, sorry. I'm still writing that one. Because they are made of magic, monsters' bodies are attuned to their soul. If a monster doesn't want to fight, its defense will weaken. The crueler the intentions of our enemies, the more their attacks will hurt us. Therefore, if a being with a powerful soul struck with a desire to kill, um, let's end the chapter here. <laughs> Get a little creepy. Scary. But good for later. Monster History Part 4. Fearing the humans no longer, we moved out of our old city, home. We braved harsh cold, damp swampland, and searing heat until we reached what we now call our capital. New home. <laughs> Again, our king is really bad at names. Love, hope, compassion. This is what people say monster souls are made of. But the absolute nature of soul is unknown. After all, humans have proven their souls don't need these things to exist. Aww. Aww. I love everybody right now. Right now. <laughs> yeah, like Rarerby. <laughs> Rarerby. <laughs> It's a mailbox overflowing with unread junk mail. That's probably sans. This mailbox is labeled papyrus. Yep. <laughs> Look inside. It's, yeah. It's empty. Aww. Aww. He reads all his stuff, though. It's locked. Aww. Don't go in people's houses. Oh, oh. That's the tunnel. That's the tunnel. I'm gonna go back. Whee! Go back. Whee! Whee! Go in the shed thing. It's locked from the inside. Mm -hmm. Alright, forward. Let's check out up, I think, first. Okay, we'll go up. Nice music. A mustache. It has a mustache. Ah, oh, to be young again. The world sure felt boundless. Oh, that's weird. He's a snow puff. Let's play monsters and humans. Go to the other one. You aren't gonna make me be the human again, are you? Right. Knock, knock. Oh, what a beautiful knock. Maybe if I don't answer, I'll hear it again. Knock. Ah, oh, my patience rewarded me. I think that's all it does. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he just likes to hear knocking. He's the one throwing the ice in the water. Oh. Let's keep going That's up. Interesting. Oh. Ring ring. He's calling. Hello? Can I speak to G? Wait a second. Is this the wrong number? Oh, it's the wrong number! The wrong number song. Number song. We're very, very, very sorry that we got it wrong. No, <laughs> oh, it's the wrong number. The wrong, wrong number, number song. song. <laughs> We're very, very sorry that we got, got it wrong. <laughs> Click. I like that. I that, was, that, that was that funny. It's the wrong number song. Woo. Do you think people in real life would be mad if I started singing that? <laughs> if I accidentally got the number wrong? Maybe. 
Just a little. I'm just a little. Can I do it at work when I answer phones? No. Oh, I'm sorry. This is the wrong number. This is the wrong <laughs> number song. <laughs>